What's up everybody, Unsalted Organics here, and we have boxes. And in said boxes is another 10 upgrade. Today we're going to be upgrading the uh, exhaust system. And to do that, I went ahead and got the AC Infinity Cloudline T4. I got the AC Infinity four inch carbon filter. And then I went ahead and got some of the four inch insulated ducting from AC Infinity as well. Um, I'm not going to struggle and try to unbox this with one hand while I try to film. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and I'm going to get it all installed and then we're going to go over it. All right, cool. See you in a minute. And boom, like magic. There it is. Everything's all hooked up. We have the four inch AC Infinity fan. We have the AC Infinity carbon filter. Uh, with African charcoal, it's supposed to last two to three times longer than your normal carbon filters. And you see right here, I have the insulated ductwork uh, attached to the intake fan that's bringing the heat into the tent. I have that because if you have an insulated uh, ductwork, you lose less heat, less surface heat through the ducting so more of that heat ends up into your tent so you end up spending less money on the heat that's cool I'll show you the controller really really easy to set up Hit this button right here and it goes through on off timer you can set it for a timer if you want um, I have it set to our uh, high temp 80 degrees same as my heater low temp 75 degrees same as my heater so i have that five degree differential high humidity 62 percent low humidity 57 percent same as my uh, humidifier with my uh, controller so same thing uh, five percent differential and just go through i have my alarm setting for 100 low temp 50 high humidity 90 low humidity 30 that just means if it hits any of those points an alarm will go off and let me know and boom push it on good to go don't you have to read the manual guys we so just for a little comparison vivo sun on its highest setting and the ac infinity notice the difference yeah yeah me too um, I used to be able to hear my uh, fan from upstairs by my front door, and now if the tent's closed, actually I'm, I'm standing right next to it and I really, I really can't hear it at all. I hear this fan, but I don't hear this fan. So, so far, a uh, really good upgrade, really happy with it. And since I put it in, it seems to be regulating the air flow in my tent a lot better. Um, the tent used to be really bulgy and pushed out from the intake fan but with this, it actually regulates it, so my, my tent's just kind of standing still. It's not sucked in, it's not pushed out. So the AC Infinity with the, the highs and lows that you set, pretty much if it gets above seven or 80 degrees, it'll kick the fan onto a higher mode and take some air out. If it gets below that, it'll make the fan go slower, so you're not taking as much heat out, and the same thing with the humidity. If it's a higher humidity, it'll kick the fan on to go a little faster, get some of that humidity out. And if it's a lower humidity compared to what you set, then it, the fan will go slower so you retain some of that humidity in the tent. See how the babies are doing. Um, quite a lot of growth from the last time you've seen them. Um, I remember saying in the last video that it would be about a week or two until that extra growth in the Cinderella 99 was ready to be tied down. Um, it was actually about three or four days. Since we've talked last, I have actually tied down, I have just soft green garden hangers or garden wires. Uh, I've tied it down, then I did a major defoliation yesterday and tied it all back down again. And that's what we got, it's actually about to outgrow the two gallon pot. Cinderella 99, still a little bit behind, but I mean not really. Um, they've all been topped about three or four more times, so both of these plants are going to have about 10 top sites, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, everything's looking good. They're about due for another top dressing of nitrogen, so I'm going to do that soon. I'll make a video showing how I top dress. 
AK-77 coming along. Definitely behind the rest, but it was planted a couple of weeks afterwards. Um, I did top this for the first time. It took the topping well, tied it down. We have some good growth from underneath. Um, those ones I topped at about the fifth or sixth node. This one I topped at the fourth node, so it's a little bit lower. My plan with these plants is to keep them low with the maximum amount of top sites. So they're going into a five gallon fabric pot uh, for their final transplant pl probably within the next week or two I'm gonna end up transplanting them. That'll be their final home and probably about three or four weeks till we flip these things into flower. I'm just gonna take the L on this one and say this one's gonna be, I mean not a loss, but it's definitely gonna be smaller than the rest of them uh, when I throw them into flower, but that's, that's just the risky run when you, you plant seeds you know, not at the same time. So these are gonna get transplanted soon. Even this one, you know, their final five gallon homes. I'm probably gonna wait until this one fills out the five gallon pot and those ones are just probably gonna be exploding out of it. But when this one flip, or fills out the five gallon pot, that's when I'm gonna say, okay, these are ready to be flipped into flour. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll be doing that. But everything else is on point. LED tonic Q7, still doing a great job. Um, I lowered them down from 30 inches to 24 inches just because they were responding really well to 30 inches. I wanted to see how much light these plants could take. So I said, hey, let's move them down to 24 inches and the plants are doing really well. I don't have any burning on the tips of the leaves, no stress. So right now, 24 inches away from them in veg is, uh, it's good. It's really good. It's good to push your plants, man. Um, see what they can take, see what, see what they can do. Factory settings are always a good thing to go by, but don't be afraid to push the limits of your plants. Um, see what they can take. Also, the UV light, still doing well. Um, raised the temperature in my tent a little bit, so now with that and the combination of the Q7s, by the way, the Q7s link is in the description. Check it out, get some of these bad boys. Um, but my heater really doesn't turn on during the day, so that also saves me a lot of money. All right. That's it. We're all good for today, guys. Thanks for checking in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. It really helps me out. But if you don't leave a comment, you know, thumbs up helps me out enough. Appreciate you guys. Peace.